Hey guys, Brian Castro here with Better Chest Training and in today's video I'm going to share a few tools that I use to study chess and that I think uh, would be helpful for you if you're not already using them. Okay, the uh, first tool we're going to talk about is called SCID, S-C-I-D, which stands for Shane's Chess Information Database. And this is a database program where you can review your games, uh, review master games. And this program also allows you to play against it, uh, as well as other training tools, which uh, I mentioned in other videos. Um, the difference between uh, this program and some of uh, similar programs is that first, this one's totally free. And I think it has most of the functionality that, that most uh, beginning and intermediate players would need uh, to really improve their chess. And so uh, let me just show you a couple things here. This is actually, uh, and if you recognize, this is actually the board I use um, when I am uh, recording videos about games. So uh, you can play through games, and here you see my uh, commentary, or this is actually the timestamp from uh, one of my 45-45 league games, and then you could put different variations in. Uh, and in this case, too, uh, you have access to a lot of the free chess engines, uh, very powerful engines, like uh, here Stockfish and Komodo. And let me just show you, you can actually run the uh, analysis there if you want. And again, I've talked about that in other videos. I just want to highlight some of the features of this program. Uh, and then you can put in your own comments. For example, you can uh, uh, type in comments here, you know, as well as um, do... Uh, let's see, like arrows and stuff like that onto, um, onto your commentary. So uh, it's very nice for annotating games, and that's the main way I use it, but I also use it uh, to do some of the training options. Uh, for example, I do the review game, which is basically solitary chess, which I mentioned before, uh, is one of the main things I do. And you can also do training your openings. You can set up a special database with your opening repertoire, and then it will randomly uh, train you to memorize those openings. But uh, I have another tool I use for that now. It's something that I used to use, but uh, I'll show you that uh, tool that I use for that. But uh, I think it's a very powerful database if you... Uh, don't have the finances to buy uh, something like Chessbase, which uh, I also think is very uh, good, then this is a great option. And uh, it's something that I use because uh, I used to use Chessbase, but uh, a few years ago my computer crashed and uh, uh, they had upgraded the uh, program and I didn't have uh, the funds at the time to purchase the updated Chessbase. So I look for free options and I think this is the best one out there. The next uh, tool that I use uh, quite a bit um, is uh, websites to search for uh, master games. And the first one I use is Chess Tempo. And I know I've uh, mentioned this to you guys before. So uh, it has a lot of features. Its main thing I think a lot of people use it for is its training, its tactics and end game training, which I, I uh, highly recommend. Uh, but the other thing that we use I use it for is looking for games in a database. For example, um, I might look for um, something in the uh, French defense. Okay, and let me just show you this. Um, I'll go down here to advanced search, and I only want to search for games, uh, say, after the year 2000. And the player, uh, they have to be over 2,500, for example. I want to find high-level uh, games by uh, on the black side for French players, uh, more recent. So I'll search using the current position, and then I'll have this whole list of games. Now, with the premium uh, membership to Chess Tempo, you can download... Uh, uh, a lot of games um, here you could do them one at a time and often that's what I'll do you know I might just look here I might just uh, I could search here for the highest black ELO and we can see here that Magnus Carlsen has uh, played the French uh, quite a bit in his career including in 2018 so uh, here I can go to this um, particular game if I wanted to and uh, here it is and I can also download it uh, as a PGN that I can open up in Skid, which I mentioned uh, in the previous section. So uh, here you can actually uh, here you can actually play through the games. Uh, and I believe uh, let's see, Knight to F3. Let's just see. I think you could actually put in variations as well, but I'm not sure. I don't 
think you can save these variations. So what I do is I'll search for the game or games that I want, and then I'll download them and then view them on SCID where I might create a special database for uh, specific research. So SCID is the first one. The next one I use is actually um, uh, chessgames.com, but the way I'll do it, I'll actually go off of Google uh, here, and let me just give you an example. Let's say I'm looking for uh, Capablanca, uh, versus Corzo. This is a search I did recently, 1901, and I'm looking for the ninth game. And then you can see in the search results, chessgames.com chess will often come first. Um, looks like we've got uh, the specific game as well as, I know there's a link to the actual match between Capablanca and Corzo. Uh, so let me show you that one, actually. Let's click on that. And here we have uh, all the games, and uh, we can actually click here on Games, and then I can find the ninth game that way. Okay, and I'll click on it here. Oh, I clicked on the uh, back on the match page, but uh, click on the game here. And again, I can view it um, on the screen. But what I like to do, if you go down here, is click here, view in a PGN. You can download it too. But what I like to do is view it, and then I'll select all, copy it. And then I'll paste it onto um, into Skid, and there's a way you can do that on Skid. And again, I uh, do it for my uh, research purposes or uh, study and analysis. Okay, so two tools there to uh, search for specific uh, master games: ChessTempo.com as well as ChessGames.com. Uh, ChessTempo I use more if I'm uh, you know to enter a position and then to search that way but if there's a specific game that i already know uh, i want to look for uh, i will put it into google and find it on chessgames.com and uh, for the final tool that i'm going to share with you today it's actually one that i have uh, mentioned quite a few times here on the channel and that's uh, chessable.com uh, in short chessable is a learning program where you can use uh, books uh, either purchased and written by uh, masters and titled players and, and uh, you know, very enthusiastic amateurs, including myself, uh, or create your own books, and then you study positions, uh, and it uses a tool called Spaced Repetition Learning as well as some other, uh, I guess you could say, uh, effective learning techniques to help you to learn and remember uh, the chess knowledge that you have. So let me just show you a quick example. So this is in my review. Basically, you study certain positions, and then you will uh, review them over time, and it increases your ability to apply those in your game. So let me go ahead and let's try to solve this one. Uh, I think white can take here after the queen takes. Then uh, I can actually check here and then fork the, the uh, queen. So here I take here pinning, and then... I'm going to fork here. So that would be one of the, this is actually one of the positions I studied before, and what Chessable does, it will review it for you at a time that's appropriate. So when you're first learning it, it's going to review it more often, and the more um, solidly you have it in your memory, the further you know apart those intervals are going to be. But Chessable uh, used to be uh, mainly for openings, but as you can see here, it actually goes into various um, other areas of chess. Let me just uh, go back to the homepage here. And you can see there's courses for openings, end games, strategy, and tactics. And you can see here I have several. I've got a tactics book, which I reviewed on the channel a few months ago, um, uh, end game, as well as my own uh, uh, book I made uh, for the candidates tournament. So uh, Chessable is a, a great tool. There is a, It's a premium tool, so you need to pay for a subscription. There are some limited features uh, that are free, and I think you can get quite a bit out of it, uh, the free version, but I actually highly recommend the uh, paid version because it's much more powerful, especially if you are going to build your opening repertoire uh, using Chessable, and that is what I use to study my opening repertoire as well as uh, these other uh, chess eBooks. Okay, so uh, that is that. Uh, I'll put the link in that in the description, and I hope you check it out. Uh, hey guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed those tools. Uh, let me know uh, what other tools maybe you'd like me to check out in chess. 
I think the key here, uh, the reason I, I, I put these out is that uh, whether you use chess base or skid, uh, it's important to have a place where you can store your games as well as any analysis you do of uh, master games so that you can go back and review them. Uh, I included the chess websites, chess tempo and chessgames.com because uh, they're the most frequent ones I use to search for games. For example, if I have a chess book that I'm studying, and what I like to do is instead of entering the moves manually, I like to look up the game uh, on one of those sites, then download it, and then I can follow along in the book on my computer if I'm not using a real board. Uh, and finally, uh, chessable.com. I uh, did a review for it uh, a couple years ago uh, on my uh, blog, betterchesstraining.com, but since then they've improved the program quite a bit, and so uh, probably the next month or so I probably want to do an updated review here on this channel as well as on uh, the website. But um, as some of you may know, I've actually uh, written a couple articles for uh, the Chessable blog, uh, but since getting to uh, know them, I, I've really come to enjoy using that tool. So uh, highly recommended. These are tools that I use every day in my training, and hopefully if you don't have something that fills those roles in your own training, that you can check those out. Okay, uh, the links will be in the description. And if you are new to this channel, uh, I talk about uh, basically chess training, uh, including analyzing games, uh, but I also talk about training techniques and like in this video, training tools. So if that's something that might help you to improve your chess, consider subscribing. And if, of course, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit that like button and consider sharing it. I hope you have a great day and good luck with your chess.